what is up lwd adnan here with a bit of a different style tsw video today we're taking a look at the april roadmap 2024 of course that dropped today and i've heard a lot of things about it so what i've decided to do is wait till i am on camera <laughs> with you guys and take a look at it i have no clue so far what's what's on here i'm aware that long island railroad 2 has been announced i've had a quick skim of that article but anything else i have no idea about so gonna take a look at it bring you guys along for the journey for my first look and um just you get to see my live reaction basically and we'll discuss um my thoughts and feelings about it as well so without much further ado let's get into it so far in our zero to three months we've got a spring core update uh, i've got some airing barn which now i'm aware that we're that's dropping on the 18th of april long island railroad i know that's dropping on the 20 on the 30th i think it is um but i know pre-orders are opening a little bit earlier we're, we're going to see about that anyway uh the 218 is within, within the zero to three month uh period okay all right we've got cargo line volume 2 which was hinted recently on skyhook social media so kind of knew that one was coming and five circle line improvements very very interesting i wonder how these are going to tie against uh the mods that we've seen so far that have been released for the um five circle line in the four to six month range we've got the uh i believe it's a metro link route san Bernardino line uh la to san Ber Ber bernardino uh a uk route hmm i wonder if this was leaked during the easter period but we missed it i know some talk has come about the loco um but uk route interesting uh well here we go scott rail class 380 loco yeah so we know that that was teased during the easter um uh no easter sorry april fools that was actually april fools we had a screenshot of the cathcart circle with the stop marker in uh, in focus and on the stop marker was a 380 stop marker and alongside the 3141 and some people got it some people were not too sure i said yeah it's a 380 basically and we had some hints from matt as well speaking about um, a very desirable loco so um that's interesting it's interesting to see that it's in the four to six month range though i thought um with now a dovetails sort of hesitancy to show off things too early i thought that would be more likely in the zero to three month um period but happy to see that there anyway uh still interested in what the uk route will be hopefully something completely unexpected but still good let's find out we get the 158 which is pretty much still in the uh period that we expected it to be in uh a german local by simtrack and then an expert br101 tsg i guess we'll hopefully see what that uh entails and um release dates have been announced the 420 which i think we've been waiting for since tsw2 now um so that better come out perfectly <laughs> uh the tadami line yeah quite quite expected to be honest a by allen tom simulation i think we already had we already knew that was coming right or is that new hmm current arc and timetable update that's been coming for a while now the 104 and peak forest expansion pack you've known that's coming uh uk route by just trains let's see if that uh how that will stand against the blackpool branches route the Levin branch or Levin branch which we already knew was coming suspension improvements let me just say with regards to suspension improvements in my opinion obviously we don't know what's going on behind closed doors but in my opinion it's a little bit shambolic to be completely blunt that in april of 2024 that is still to be announced because i believe correct me if i'm wrong in the comments was that not a, a, a feature advertised for train sim world 4 a game that came out in september of 2023 uh and pc editor improvements again improvements is a bit is a it's a bit of an understatement realistically when we can't even cook stuff so that's a bit cheeky to put improvements in as that was once again something that was announced with the game was it six months ago now even more uh anyway let's get past it too long uh i actually do want to see some things for myself right so i'm gonna skim over some things i'm not gonna 
take too much of you guys' time. So I'm going to skim over something. So Severin's Barn, we've got some more photos. Uh, absolutely glorious uh, scenery. Wow. That's definitely LiDAR technology in full effect. Very, very gorgeous scenery. Wow. Man, the distance scenery there looks a bit... Uh, I don't know. The grass textures is, is, is giving me a bit of a rosa vibes, if I'm being totally honest. Um, we'll see, I guess. Um, it, it looks okay here. Distant scenery looks all right here. Um, Long Island Railroad 2, of course. Uh, here's the map. So, Branch Haven. <laughs> We've got one branch there. I don't know if you want to count this as a branch. Um, a branch here semi-branch uh i wouldn't call this a branch i guess it's two different endpoints so that's gonna make for a hell of a variety of runs we've got 57 miles which is pretty decent uh the new long beach branch new abandoned Woodhaven station which a lot of people questioned with the first one why that was there so it's good to see that they've brought that in it's kind of expected if we're being honest uh the m9 now we've got we've got an updated m7 hopefully that includes the physics which were quite the talking point at one point uh, apparently the train accelerated a little too quickly. There was a whole thing about it on the forums. You kind of just had to be there. <laughs> um, updated reworking of the schedule with significantly more series uh, services, sorry. Plus more for those with the M3, which we have, of course. So that's good to see. And a live L-I-R-R, -R, beautiful. A new scenario, so you can play as a conductor. Interesting. It's giving me that gloss applied vibe there. Uh, updated rework of Sunnyside Yards. Right, that's nice. I believe I was told in my stream that the New, new York to Trenton Sunnyside Yard was brought in from back in... Uh, the first NEC route that came with Trains in World 2020. So it's good that they finally updated that. Uh, updated station areas, up updated lighting and textures, of course, now that we're using uh, TOD4. Up updated scenery textures, water materials, of course. Uh, again, this is, these two things are, li are realistically just TOD4 and TSW4 stuff. I mean, the local seems to be pretty do uh, done pretty well, to be honest. Yeah, got the nice sunset there, TOD4 in full effect. Um, so yeah, this was the teaser, and you can see that in focus uh, was a stop for the uh, 380. All right, I mean, I haven't seen too much of this local. I've seen a little bit of it, but from what I remember, it's looking pretty good so far. It's looking pretty good so far. Of course, remains to be seen in terms of physics and sounds and the important bits, but so far, kind of looks good. Right, expert BR101. So what exactly are we talking here? Okay, so is the expert BR11 just a completely new loco then? All right, now in a meticulously crafted expert version. Okay, so what exactly do we have going on here then? So two different cab variants. Okay, that's pretty good to see for Train Sim World. Neurofan physics. Okay, fully functional screens, including abilities like disabling specific traction motors. Now, if you now when you say fully functional screens, I'm expecting. Uh, um, goodness me, what's the, what's it called? Wow, the lights are on, but no one's home. What is it called? Ebula. <laughs> I expect to see a working Ebula. We got there in the end. So let's see, because fully functional screens fully functional screens you, i'm expecting an epi i'll be totally honest uh energy counter to measure how efficient you drive but they've added exclamation mark but i'm not sure it's the most exciting thing i don't know who's gonna be measuring how efficient they drive but maybe there's a uh, a fan base for that realistic door operation of tbo or tb0 and sscf door control systems all right full digital displays all screens and subscreens so once again raising expectations real train data input i guess we have an example of that here okay uh sound improvements with new sound recordings upgrading older capture player enterable machine room engine room. this is something i criticized tsw for in my recent comparison between simrail and train sim so it's good to see that 
we've now got an, uh, uh, a little bit of a throwback to uh, a better time, I guess, in Train Sim World, debatably, arguably. Uh, accessible driving mode, main menu setting for setting functionality at a level, typical to RTSW locators. Yeah, I'm going to need to be educated on a lot of this. So you're welcome to join the masses on my streams <laughs> that, are, um, that have done an amazing job of that. So there will be a menu settings that enables a more accessible driving mode. Okay, it's good that they're catering to um, newbies like myself as well. Enthusiasts can expect a higher price point reflective of the expert locomotive category. Right, so it seems like we're almost diving into Microsoft Flight Sim territory here, where the quality DLC or quality add-ons cost a lot more than your regular stuff. Um, and to be fair, obviously the price is yet to be seen, but depending on the price, that could be something I'm on board with. Um, and I think the, probably the majority of people would be happy to pay a higher price for a higher quality model. And that's something that's, that on the forums, I've seen people people um, make a point of that. So let's see what the price point is saying. But fingers crossed, it's something that we can work with as a community and dovetail as well. So we finally have images of the uh, the 218. So of course, uh, we did get to drive this a little bit over on uh, Train Planet. Check that video out as well. Uh, much more old school than uh, what we're used to most of the time. Of course, what would the German train be if it was in a Deutsche Bahn uh, red? Very good looking interior to be fair. Very, very good looking interior. It will come with its own ver ver uh, version, sorry, of the, of the N wagon. Okay, so it's going to bring some life into the Hamburg Lübeck, Lübeck line. Good to see that giving some uh, some a breath of fresh air. So yeah, they're not ready to share the details on just trains as route just yet, but we'll see. And as we're on that quick topic, I'll, I'll add very briefly that I'm very interested to see what the next route from just trains looks like because. They've taken their time and have produced an absolute masterclass of a route with the Blackpool branches red line. I've been saying on my streams a lot that our next route from them will determine whether that model is good for business. A lot of people will come to the defense of Dovetail or, or third party developers when poor quality is thrown out to us and say that time constraints and well they have to get something out in a certain amount of time because how are the uh, employees going to get paid so just trains like taking their time let's see what the next route comes out if it's going to be the same quality or even better than blackpool branches that will tell us that that business model absolutely works and you know dovetail and the rest of the third party studios don't have an excuse realistically and if it's something that's a little less quality then maybe those people did have a point when coming to the defense of these studios but that of course remains to be seen an update on five circle line huh so we're aware of course of these stuff doesn't really look like there's anything new from what i can see the 158 so we have some news on the changes between this and the current Midland Mainline 158, which is, it's nice that they've dropped this because uh, there were a lot of people quite confused and quite upset actually at why we're getting just a reskin. So for the exterior, there's a, a new snow plow, okay? Uh, new air condition roof fence, remodeled headlights, new door buttons, new drop light window arrangement. So there are some noticeable changes, although they might seem minor, but nonetheless, this is, listen, we're in a simulation, a train simulation genre and the niche that is train simulation, right? So although these might seem minor, the reality is, it's what we like to see. Even if there are minor details change, if it's a different train, it's a different train. And the fact that we get in a different train, that is accurate to the models representing i personally am happy with that to be very honest with you right cargo line volume two so let me get this out of the uh, out of the way i did somewhat i want to say i criticized volume one um i was actually impressed by the wagons but when speaking about the state of train sailing in general a couple times during my stream i have sort of spoken negatively on these packs however let me say that the first one was good it was a good pack and i'm glad that we're getting volume two with a new wagon some new gameplay in the form of scenarios uh, and services so 
I'm glad to see that we are getting and again a breath of fresh air for these old roots it's really good to see and i'm spraying some graffiti there which i have some more graffiti here which is exciting me because it's realistic i drove the great western express line recently and i'm not sure what was the reason for this being on the route it could have been a mod or like an enhancement pack it could have been something else i'm not too sure but there was a old br stock on some sidings just covered in graffiti and i loved it it was one of the highlights of the routes for me and it was quite a long service that i ran and that was one of the highlights so i'm really glad to see that coming we're also gonna have two versions of the hoa hopper okay both in several different conditions to enhance the realism weathering we're getting some weathering we love it and of course we can load them i'm actually quite happy about that i know it's quite a basic and simple thing but I i'm not gonna lie i'm happy about that i am happy about that and skyhook have also added two scenarios for southeast and has to be let's go god bless you skyhook games thank you for being the studio that you've become thank you you've come far we had some 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 big hiccups along the way but where skyhook games are now uh i think we can give them credit big credit where that's true Licenser changes. Interesting. What do we have here? I'm providing a safer interpretation of the route. Very interesting. So we've got visual differences to so the flashing of the yellow red door release buttons. Okay. Pantograph not activated and deactivated through the master key. Okay. Okay. So this is very interesting to see. So I've also spoken recently as well. And I've wondered out loud on stream how Scott Rail are taken the five circle line receiving the criticism that it has and just in general we kind of got into the conversation of how licenses follow up on their roots basically and and see react on feedback basically we haven't really seen any of it from what we know of course most of that stuff is kept behind closed doors however here we have a change made to better the train the uh, the 523 i like it i like dovetail being kept on a sort of being made to stand tall be aware and make sure that their stuff is appropriate by these licenses they, they, at the end of the day each licensor is going to want their products to be shown in the best light possible right so these sort of things can only be better for us to be honest as a community only it's only going to make things more realistic re realistically uh no pun intended with the use of the word right so for the spring core update let's see what we have so some headliners player assist settings will now save correctly on console platforms uh, i didn't know that was an issue makes sense i'm on pc correct scoring adjustments when using safety systems finally this has been a problem for a while so nothing that bothered me too much but it's bothered people glad it's, and it's really something that shouldn't have been an issue for this long custom weather should have correctly appear when we restart in the game and playing after user crit scenario okay i didn't know about that uh multiple improvements and fixes introducing console platforms to the base are interesting okay so finally i've had some people ask me about that on stream as well class servants and passenger doors will no longer show as locked if automatically closed what does that mean the doors will still be locked because we know that from what matt has said on stream on the overground stream that they can't as a studio haven't yet been able to do the whole doors are closed but not locked thing when doors close they interlock so i'm wondering if that's literally just a visual thing which is which it kind of seems to be that way if we're being totally honest anyway for main tail barn improvements for the substitution to allow the 628 and the red 363 to appear in ai traffic fair enough i believe i've seen these two not the red one though I've seen the blue 363, but I've seen the 628 here and there. So that's interesting. And their intention is to aim at key improvements for recent UK content. Well, Five Circle, I guess, fits in that bracket. I'm not sure what else. 710 was, well, sorry, the overground line was pretty well done, in my opinion. Not sure what improvements could be done there. So Formation Designer is coming to consoles. Was this a, a, a feature of TSW4 when it was announced? Anyway, whether it was or not so we're on phase two at the moment very interesting in april we're in phase two okay i mean if if tsw5 is not announced fair enough if it is and it usually gets announced in august i don't see us get into phase four 
before then at the speed at which things are moving right now we shall see however suspension improvements i complained about this earlier we have a video with it on the 4024 don't need to watch that it's going to be demonstrated we know what we know kind of know what to expect We've been looking at feedback from the beta team and made some changes. Okay, so fair enough, there are still improvements, but that should all be done by now, in my opinion. For this to be a USP of TSW4, we should have it by now. It should be the norm. Updating passengers. Okay, we're getting some more updated updated passengers. Okay, these seem to be London Overground, Overground Suffragette Line specific. New character outfits new laptops tablets headphones earphones of own varieties okay great range of accessories and from back also books okay you know what right okay i know some people are gonna see that and think what about the bugs fix the bugs fix the issues bring this and for i know there are i know there are some of you that are gonna say that but let's be honest passengers do play a part in immersion and i'm not gonna say this is a bad update i'm actually pretty i'm not chuffed i'm not excited but I say this is a good thing. Why is only restricted to the London Overground line? I don't know. Would love to see that across the range of routes. But it's a good start. It is a good start. Some community corner stuff. Uh, this would be interesting to see, I guess. The giveaway for Matt's uh, headset. If you missed that, that was... Yeah, announced. Let me say announced on April the 1st. Wasn't sure whether it was a april fool's joke or not but i entered it anyway uh so let's see apparently it is a real thing and obviously there was a live stream which by now has already gone up and you may or may not have already watched it so that was the roadmap for april 2024 overall some good stuff the expert 101 the uh t photos of the 218 long island railroad announcement we got to see the 380 i guess the passengers on overground line i'll give that a mention as well nice i guess <laughs> but i had a moment earlier where I quickly touched on the roadmap uh, after the announcement it was brought to my attention and i said i won't lie i'm not buzzing to go and check it i'm not gonna race you know trip over myself running to see the article i think i'm at a point now with trains in world where it's great when exciting things are announced but uh with how often things are pushed back with how often we sort of get disappointed and look we do get some nice surprises here and there and i will always be honest about that right dovetails do get some things right but overall looking at the whole picture i think the best thing i personally can do is read know what's coming but keep my expectations low so that if something comes and it's amazing and it blows everything else out of the water excitement will be there i'll be very happy and if it's disappointing i wasn't expecting anything amazing anyway and if it's mediocre it's mediocre you know i think i've learned that that's probably the best way to go about announcements and upcoming dlc and upcoming uh content with trains in worlds so yeah i just realized actually as i'm closing off here we've got another quite narrow window on the 380 we've already seen that on, on glasgow to edinburgh it sucks a lot harder than it does on the 377 i'll tell you that much the 377 itself had a lot of complaints to have another um envelope style as people like to call it window it's interesting but we'll see what it brings along with it for now lwd admin will close off here let me know down below what do you guys think are you really looking forward to what's coming up are you a bit more reserved with your excitement like i am do you agree with some of the things i've said do you disagree let me know down below and if you've liked what you've seen please consider leaving a like and giving us a subscription that would be great uh but for now i'm gonna leave it here till the next one look after yourself stay safe and peace out